guys how is it going welcome to this channel today we are gonna looking at exporting the labels from GIS into AutoCAD labels using ArcGIS Pro so let's get started with the with this quick exercise I have opened an ArcGIS Pro empty project and I am going to load some data I am opening our catalog pane and I am looping through my data. I have created a geodatabase and inside it I have just one feature class which is called parcels. Now if I load the parcels we will see in our map canvas they are loaded all the parcels. Now in table of, co of content I right click to the table and I have the label and the label properties. I will choose labels, I will see a um, big mess here. So I switch to labeling tab. And here we will choose the field ID. Basically if we open attribute table we will see that this feature class has just one field ID and other basic field that are created automatically by geodatabase. So if we see still the labels are a big mess. So let's improve the label style. Uh, from label placement we are gonna click this small button which says uh, place, placement properties and uh, here we are going to choose uh, regular placement and uh, da, 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 straight in polygon so once we choose straight we see that our labels change their position and if we zoom to the labels we will see that the labels are according to the to the shape of the parcel and we want to export these labels into cut labels so basically we cannot just export this so if if we go to view geoprocessing and export to cut basically we cannot export this if we export this feature it will show just the polygon if we have point we cannot convert even in point because they it will still show just the point. Basically we have to convert these labels into ArcGIS annotation. So once we have converted into ArcGIS annotation then we can export into CAD annotation as label then not as feature class. So to do that we have to right click into parcels so we right click to parcels and we have this this option here convert labels so if we, if we click this convert labels we see two options convert labels to annotation or convert labels to graphic we don't need graphic so we need to convert the labels into annotation now on this on once this tool is open, we will see that this tool has several options. So it has a map input, it has a layer, it has a conversion type, output and name. But what is the most important here? It is the scale. So we will be sure that we are in the into a scale where all labels will show. What does that mean? That means that if we are in this scale we see that some small labels here are not shown. So if we export in this scale in 2000 the export will not be completed. Will be uh, a half of export or less or 30% or 40% depending how much label you you will convert into annotation. So basically we we have to zoom in into a particular level where we are sure that most of the label have has 
enough space to be shown. But this doesn't mean that we have to see each parcel one by one. So this one has no enough space. But we, ha we, we just have to be nearby that scale and then we have this, this option here. So this scale is, let's say, 300. To be sure, we are going to include 250. And now we will choose the output geodatabase, which will be the same geodatabase. We are surfix we are just gonna leave it as it is is not an issue for the moment and uh, the extent is better to choose parcels because we don't know what those numbers those numbers are maybe they are wrong or maybe they are correct but to be sure we choose our layer and we know that we are exporting our layers and now to be sure that all labels will be exported no matter if if any label has no space we are going to check this button convert unplaced label to unplaced annotation now we are gonna run this here we go so now we don't have labels anymore we see that we have another a new feature class here and if we go to to our database, we refresh it, we will see that we have a new feature class with with icon, with a letter. This means that this is an annotation. And this suffix is what we what we choose before. So basically this layer, if we export this layer into CAD, this layer is going to be an AutoCAD annotation layer. So let's do it. Let's activate the geoprocessing. Export to CAD. I am going to pick both layers to check that everything is correct. Going to save in the same location as a temporary file dot dwg and now let's run this process from rgs pro we export into autocad file dwg now let's switch into our folder and let's see what rgis has exported i have it in desktop so here we have our file so basically this is what rgis has exported so all labels are in their right location and they have the same angle that they had in ArcGIS Pro. But the size, we see that the size is a little bit bigger. So it means that if we want a smaller size, we have to go into a smaller scale in ArcGIS. So we have to play with the scale. But as soon as we have all our annotation here, we can select all annotation and we can make them smaller or bigger, what, whatever we want. All we have to do is just to be sure that in ArcGIS we, ha we have converted all annotation, all labels into annotation. If we are sure that this is done, then we can export into CAD file. This is all what I wanted to discuss. I hope you enjoyed it. and. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or to give me a feedback, either a negative or a positive feedback. You are welcome because I want to improve myself by your feedback. Cheers.